Crew-1 has been a mission we've been looking forward to for a long time. There were so many beautiful small moments over the last few days. We have a lot of footage I'm excited to share with you guys, and there's so much that just doesn't fit into kind of a standard article or video format, so I'm really excited about this new episode structure. A series we're calling Rocket Theater. Uh, we're going to show you some of the cameras that we take out to the launch pad with us and in, in position ahead of time. In the future, we're going to go a lot deeper into the camera tech, into the motion robots that we place, uh, as well as share footage from previous missions that maybe we haven't highlighted yet. But if you have comments about this episode or future episodes, uh, please uh, leave them below. There's a lot of highlights we're going to get into, but one of them was going live at liftoff with our tracking camera and Tim Dodds, the Everyday Astronaut, live stream quick events in rapid succession. We're going to, to see our footage side by side, synced with the camera on Falcon 9. It's just amazing. Separation. Stage one, throttle down. And an ignition at the same time, Mary Liz was live with the Space for Humanity event with scientist Alan Stern and Frank White, the author of The Overview Effect. To be there on the causeway, connected to such a huge audience, um, in, involved in important discussions, it, it was totally surreal, and that's even before we really thought about what was happening and the humans that were on the rocket ready to leave the Earth. SpaceX, go for launch. SpaceX, this is resilience. Roger, go. Go for launch, and at 37 seconds, the International Space Station flying over Kennedy Space Center. Crew Dragon poised to go catch it. to space with pride. Our name is Resilience. Resilience is power to recover, will to restore, and we strive to survive. All for one, one for all. Now, let's go fly.
Here's a look at the tracking rig in action. Joystick controls, throttle on the left, and pitch and yaw on the right. And I've got two monitors. One is the zoomed in view that you see here, and then kind of a wider spotting scope in case I lose that tight shot. And then after the rumble fades, it's just you and the tracking rig and the rocket in the distance and the crickets. It's amazing. Before launch, Mary Liz had a chance to interview Mike Hopkins, commander of Crew-1. You've been to the ISS, you were there for, what is 166 days, right? If you can yep. explain, what was that first view out the window like for you? <laughs> it is hard to describe, um, you know, because it feels a little bit surreal, right? I mean, you've, you've thought about it, you've dreamed about it, of, of being in space, and then it actually happens. And, and, you know, again, you're kind of pinching yourself, is this real or am I, am I just dreaming? Um, you know, but uh, it, it certainly changes your perspective. Um, for me, you know, things like I, I think it strengthened my faith um, while I was up there as well. Um, and uh, it made me appreciate everything that we have on an earth. You know, you always hear those stories about uh, um, sometimes the, the things you love, you need to let them go to appreciate them. And, and, uh, and certainly leaving earth, um, I think, helps you appreciate what we actually do have down here despite um, you know, despite all of the, the issues that exist, uh, it is, uh, it's good to be on earth. It's a great place to, <laughs> to live. And, uh, and so that's one of the things that, that from a perspective standpoint, that changed for me. And, and then, you know, some of those questions, you know, a little bit more mundane type things. What do you do with your free time? Um, you know, one of the things I did was tried to, to grow plants and, and I'm excited to get up there again, uh, because now there's some facilities that, that are going to be uh, make that a little bit easier than than trying to do it on my own because I wasn't I wasn't very successful. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll, uh, I'm I'm anxious to get up there and and do some things like that as well. I just want to thank you so so very much. Um, and you you've shared such beautiful things earlier. I just really appreciate how much you wanted to communicate the unity in what you're doing in your crew alone um you guys have this beautiful humility but also camaraderie and i just really appreciate that you shared that message and that through the patch design you know alone says so much about who you all are and what you're doing well thank you very much it's it's nice to hear that um you know the one thing i would say about it is it's it's um it's not staged i, I think it's real um, I think our, our camaraderie on the crew, how well we get along, um, the th things we're passionate about, the things we, the, the way we describe, um, you know, what we each bring to the table and all of that, uh, it's it's very real and, and it's nice to hear that uh, that you see that and, uh, and that it's a, a positive thing, so thank you. Ruben's confirming the A-pass hatch is open and now we can see it for ourselves. First across the hatch, Mike Hopkins, and here is Victor Glover. He heard the team here on in Mission Control cheering to see them come across the hatch. There's Shannon Walker. And finally, Suichi Noguchi bringing up the rear. Four new members bringing the total Expedition 64 crew to a total of seven. Ready to uh, increase the space station science and, and get to work. Filming and photographing this mission up close on the ground going live at liftoff, I don't think it's, it really hit us until we were in the car reviewing footage. This was unforgettable. So we're waiting in line for remote pickup and we're reviewing footage and this was on the back of the telescope. Look at this. It's so beautiful. You can see the engine, the exhaust really separate. 
Well, thank you for watching. We had a lot of fun putting this together. If you saw something you liked or have some ideas for future episodes, please comment below. If you want to support the work that we do, as well as see the full length, high speed videos from our Kronos cameras, each one turns about 10 seconds into eight and a half minutes of footage. You can see the full uncut clips as a Patreon member or a YouTube member. In this episode, we're also featuring two of my favorite moments turned into augmented reality art prints. Take a look. Just view the prints with a free AR app and they come to life with video footage. So to tease out what's coming up next, I put together a little edit of footage by the amazing S. Padre. Uh, an everyday astronaut and we'll be converging soon. <laughs>